Hey, this is Zipper Zions for Noble Desktop, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a position from scale expression in Adobe After Effects. So the position from scale expression has objects take their position from a scale property, but not the size. What I mean by that is that usually altering the scale of a bunch of objects will change their size and position. But with this expression, it'll have the ob objects just move without changing size. So as you can see, here's what the project looks like when it's done. Um, and this technique is great for exploding graphics if you want blocks of items to move outwards together without changing the size. It's fun for logos, graphic style explosions, or blocks of text like this. Here, I've also got another example here. You can take a look at this. So you can see what I mean. Like that. So the only external asset that we're going to be using um, is a texture file that's going to be included in the project folder, so you don't have to worry about too much. And uh, you can find the project file with that asset included in the video description below. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing we're going to be doing is double click to go inside the space quote precomp, and you're going to see all these layers. Don't worry about how many there are. Um, what we're doing is actually relatively simple. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is that you see that there's this null here, right? And if you're not familiar with what a null is, it's basically an empty object. Um, it's really good for um, connecting, parenting a bunch of layers to it. So by moving around the null, we can move around all the layers, and all those layers take their cues from that null object. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be selecting all the layers. Let us deselect the null because that's not what we want selected. So basically, everything else, everything else in this uh, uh, pre-comp we're going to be grabbing, and then we're going to pick with them and have them connect to the null. And as you can see, they're now all linked to the null object. So if I were to move that null object, they all move around with it. So what I'm going to be doing next, by the way, you may have seen me like unlock this layer before. Don't do that for yourself. Sorry, that was just me slipping up a bit. But uh, basically, we're going to be hitting any of these words. Let's. I'm going to choose the word Cosmos. I'm going to hit S for scale. I'm going to hit Alt, or uh, if you have a Mac, that should be Option. And I'm going to be posting in in, it, in a particular expression. Um, and expressions are basically bits of code that uh, instruct the program to automatically perform a certain action. And um, I'm going to leave this probably again. I'm going to like float a window around here on the interface so you can pause the video and take that down for yourself. Um, but basically what it's doing, it's instructing After Effects, hey, I want you, when changing the scale, I want you to ignore the size. Don't change the size of the word Cosmos, but I do want you to move it along. And what I mean by that is here, look, when I move the scale of the null, see how everything else shrinks and moves? But Cosmos just moves. And that's the look that we're going for. So with that done, um, I want to click scale and I want to go to, I want to go to copy expression only. Oops, sorry, I must have deselected that. Copy expression only. Then I want to select all my layers. I am going to deselect by hitting control or command on the layers that I don't want that to be pasted into. And then command V or control V and everything else. Let's hit S to C. Yep. It's all red, which means that they are, have all been pasted. Um, by the way, um, if copying down that expression is too long, we're also going to be linking the spreadsheet um, it is from um, in the description. Now, since we want this look to kind of explode out of the center, um, put your playhead at the origin. I'm going to hit scale. I'm going to put uh, hit that stopwatch to start a uh, keyframe. And I want it to be like huge at the beginning. So I'm going to make it like 320. You know, you don't have to follow me exactly, um, but like a nice big number. Um, and then about two seconds in, a little earlier, a little earlier, a little earlier. Yeah, around two seconds in. Um, I want it to be at 100%. There we go. I'm going to select both my keyframes, uh, right click, keyframe assistant. Easy ease, and let's see how that looks. All right, so it slides in like that. So then a bit of rotation can also help with this like dynamic feel. So we're gonna start by rotating the null first and then uh, some of the words. So I'm gonna hit Shift R on my null and put the playhead at the origin. I'm gonna put my rotation at 25 degrees, hit that stopwatch to keyframe it. And then, um, again, like at two seconds, let's oh, 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 go back there. At two seconds, I want it to be uh, just, you know, zero degrees. Um, around two seconds. 
And then let's see, Cosmos, I want it also to rotate. And here's where kind of like you could pick and choose what uh, numbers that you want this to rotate by. Um, I just want to do a mix of big and small letters. So here, rotation, I want Cosmos. I'm just going to put it at like, I don't know, 55. And then I'll move that over there. And we could, you know, have Cosmos straighten back up to zero. Um, and you know what? I also want um the these rotations to be Z's as well. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna like do two more letters. Um, you choose whatever you want. I'm gonna skip ahead. All right. Once you've rotated those letters, let's see what it looks like. Very nice. Okay. So now let's head back to the main comp over here. And uh, by the way, I just want to show you that there is a glow effect already applied to this comp and effect controls. You see, um, you know, just to give it a nice glow, pretty straightforward. Or well, if you want to do that yourself, you go to effects, type in glow, and just drag it and drop it onto uh, this layer, this pre-comp. Um, now, to sell exploding effect, um, we're going to animate the scale of the pre-comp, um, and that, then we're pretty much done. Um, so let's hit S for scale. And let's see, um, I'm going to hit the stopwatch over there to set a keyframe at the origin. I'm going to put it at a very small amount. Um, three, so it's not like totally disappearing, but, um, you know, it's quite small. And then in 10 frames, because 10 frames is quite quick, um, I want this thing to like, whoa, explode out. And I'm going to put it at 115 for its final... Um, size i'm gonna hit uh i'm gonna make these you know my uh easy easy keyframes i happen to have them um hot keyed to be uh just with the stroke of a button i can do that but for you you could do keyframe assistant easy ease and let's play that all right there we go there is our uh effect so like i mentioned this effect looks great on blocks and moving objects you can do this with your logos connect typography title cards with lots of moving pieces anything where you want that kind of like graphic looking explosion so that's all for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed learning how to use position from scale expression in adobe after effects let us know in the comments if you guys have any questions or any suggestions for future tu uh, tutorials we would love to hear from you so yeah drop a comment and this has been super designs for noble desktop